In a rhombus, the length of the side is five units. The length of one of the diagonals is eight units. Find the area of the rhombus. So a rhombus is formed by taking four right angle triangles. So four congruent right angle triangles when you take and you join them like this. Beside it to the left, to the right, to the bottom. So you get a rhombus. All the four right angle triangles, they may not look like they are same, but they are congruent. So if the sides are A, the side will be A here. It will be B and B. It will be A, A. It will be B, B. That's why the diagonals of a rhombus, they are perpendicular to each other because they are formed from four right angle triangles. And also, that's the reason why the diagonals bisect each other in a rhombus. Now, as per the question, it's given to us that this length is five. And let's say this diagonal is eight. If this diagonal is eight, so this B turns out to be four. So now we have a right angle triangle where the hypotenuse is five. One of the sides is four. Can we figure out the third side? Well, it's a triplet, right? So the other two, other side of the right angle triangle turns out to be three. So we have now a rhombus whose one diagonal is four, another diagonal, sorry, one diagonal is eight length, right? Four above, four below. And the other diagonal is of length three and three, which is going to be six. Now, how do we solve area of any quadrilateral whose diagonals are perpendicular to each other? you simply do half into product of diagonals. Since we already know what the diagonals are, we can straight away use it. So 48 is half, which is going to be 24. So the answer is going to be 24.